Good moment world. How are y'all doing today? This is the Phoenix once again flying into the moment to deliver peace, love, and awareness to all the beautiful souls out there. And as you can see, I'm sitting here in the committee again. <laughs> I think I did this for my Christmas episode that I put out and I thought, hey, might as well, might as well add this element to my channel because Hey, why hide? I'm not going to hide anything. I got Lugia right here, got Vaporeon, Bulbasaur, and of course we got Fireball. I know y'all saw, saw him in a couple of the thumbnails that I did. I'll eventually do a story on him and why uh, I still have him. But anyways, let's go, into, go ahead and get into this topic. So something I really wanted to talk about was something I actually thought about last night as I was walking back uh, up to my house, you know, after the last video I made, because I walked down to the pool, came back up, and I was thinking, and I was like, crap, I got another video idea. Man, they're just flowing in. You ever, like, been in that moment where you got, like, one creative spark, and then it was just like, boom, 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 boom? It's like, you were able to bridge to the other sparks. And that's how you really have to think. The way to be able to bridge these creative sparks, because the thing about creativity and energy and it's flowing is the fact that it's all connected. So that means that if you have one good idea, you know, if you stick with it, it will bridge you to another, which will bridge you to another, to another, to another. And then soon you'll have this nice geometrical multidimensional pattern, so to speak, metaphorically saying. So in order to bridge these, we have to one, trust our intuition and our gut to go along with these things but two we cannot forget about the blueprint of who we are we cannot forget about our authenticity and i want to really talk about this word authenticity because it's starting to at least from what i've seen that um in the spiritual community and even used outside of the spiritual new age community it's starting to lose some of its power but i think that's because people are starting to forget what authenticity is People think that to be authentic, it's hard. And it is hard to an extent, but that's only because we have to go back and erase a lot of the information that we downloaded growing up. But really, authenticity is easy. It's simple. It's just being. Trees outside, they don't have to struggle or strive to be trees. They simply are trees. They're already in the authenticity. They don't have to masquerade to be who they are. They just simply do it. But you see, a lot of people in this society, we have these titles, we have all these labels, and yes, sometimes these are definitely very necessary as far as organization and stuff. Because, you know, not everyone is meant to be, you know, an athlete, not everyone's meant to be an actor or a singer or whatever profession it is. So we do need some type of organization from that point. However, we have to understand that we don't have to try hard to be who we are because we were born that way. It's already inside of us. It's the blueprint. It's our, you know, our genetic code, whatever, so to speak. We are who we are. So really what I want to drive home with this message is the fact that you're all you have ever known, truthfully, so you might as well go with it. Most people will want to be like someone else or emulate someone else or emulate this or emulate that wear this product, do this thing to represent that. That's cool because we all have a different combination of all those things. However, we have to understand is that no one is in your mind 24-7 but you and, of course, you know, spirit and God or whatever you want to call it. And as far as like who you're going to spend the rest of your life with, you're the only person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. So you need to know who you are. And you need to go with it because there's no sense because this is all you have ever known. That's all you have ever known. I mean, hey, that's really the message here is to really just say, you know what? Hey, I'm all I've got. I'm all I've ever been. You know, this is all I know. No one really knows the way that I think. I know I have a message that will help lift the vibration of humanity because we all came here with the purpose and we should recognize that as ultimate truth. We should recognize that we came here to express an art. We came here to express an energy. We came here to express something. And if we come together as a collective, 
then we'll be able to really be able to put our mark on the universe and everything. We can become that species. We can be that. I believe that we're all, you know, star children or star seeds, whatever have you. We've all have been here multiple times before. We all have had other lives in other planets before and other dimensions, so forth. But we have to understand that we are in this together. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. And if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be there. So that's really what it is. So focus, get into the moment, meditate, and truly know that you don't have to strive hard. I got to strive to be authentic. No, you are authentic. Just be who you are. Just be who you are. Because that <laughs> is all you got, right? And Lugia approves, Vaporeon approves, Bulbasaur approves, and Fireball certainly approves. That is the message for today. I love you all. Peace, love, and awareness. And remember to find the gold in this moment, for that is all that exists. And I will catch you all on the next video.